The scenic farm in Thurston County is about to add a new crop to their fields. One that hasn't been grown legally in the state for some time, hemp. We also see that it's a new young industry that has tons of potential. The commodity markets ain't great right now, so the more we diversify, we see a better sustainability there. Aaron O'Point is the ag business manager at Ho-Chunk Farm. It's owned and run by the Winnebago tribe of Nebraska. The state kicked off its hemp pilot program this year. 176 applied, 10 got accepted, including Ho-Chunk Farms. Well, Point says growing the plant that can be made into CBD oil, rope, clothes, and more was a no-brainer. Uses less water, less inputs, um, and it's, it's, it's much easier to grow. It, it, it almost has its own, its own way of controlling weeds because it's such a, really it's an invasive plant. They were just licensed by the state last week and will plant the crop as soon as this weekend, harvesting it by October. But this year is a bit of a test case. They don't plan to make much money, but are collecting data, best ways to grow it, where to sell it, setting themselves up to launch a larger scale operation in 2020 and beyond. Every hemp producer I've ever talked to said they learned something every day about hemp and they've been doing it for years. So we know it's gonna be a learning curve for us. Now the Tribal Community College just built an ag extension building that is partly gonna be used for researching the hemp that Ho-Chunk grows. They're gonna help with a lot of the research and data collection. It'll help advance our college as well. If and when Ho-Chunk begins making money off hemp, the Winnebago community will likely reap some of the rewards. So with us being able to utilize another new young industry to develop new revenues for our company is only going to benefit the tribe and our community here in Winnebago, Nebraska. Reporting in Winnebago, John Kipper, 3 News Now.